Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. We have to find out what is the value of x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1 given to us that x plus 1 by x equal to root 3. Now let's look at what is the expression we have to find out the value for and see can we simplify that. So my first step will be I'll write down what we need to find out that is x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1. Can I factorize this? I can take x power 12 common from the first two terms. I will have x power 6 plus 1 plus 1 into x power 6 plus 1. So the given expression can be written as x power 12 plus 1 into x power 6 plus 1. So now this is what we need to find out. Now let us go back to our x plus 1 by x equal to root 3 and see can we get a value of x power 6 plus 1 or x power 12 plus 1 from what we know the condition. So let's go back there. We will write down x plus 1 by x equal to root 3. Now after this the approach can be two ways. One you can square it on both sides or you can cube it on both sides. What happens if we cube it on both sides? Let's understand. I can write down x plus 1 by x whole cube equal to root 3 whole cube. Now a plus b whole cube formula we know a cube that is x cube plus b cube that is 1 by x cube plus 3 into a b that is x into 1 by x into a plus b that is x plus 1 by x equal to 3 root 3. Let us simplify that we will have x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 into what is x plus 1 by x root 3 equal to 3 root 3. Now 3 root 3, 3 root 3 I can cancel. I will have x cube plus 1 by x cube equal to 0 or can I write down x power 6 plus 1 by x cube equal to 0 or x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0. So 0 into anything is equal to 0. So our option is option B. Now how we can solve this problem if instead of cubing them on both sides if we square it on both sides. Let's have a look at that. x plus 1 by x equal to root 3 that's what we have. Now let's square it on both sides. We'll have x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 equal to 3 or can we simplify that? We can write down x square plus 1 by x square equal to 1 which is equal to x power 4 plus 1 equal to x square or x power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0. Now what we have here is like a square minus a b plus b square equal to 0. That means if we multiply on both sides by a plus b, we will have a square minus a b plus b square multiply with a plus b equal to 0 or a cube plus b cube equal to 0. Now what is a here? x square. What is b here? 1. So that tells me that if I multiply both sides with x square plus 1 I will have x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0. So either we cube it on both sides or we square it on both sides we will get x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0. So the answer is option B 0.